Hey guys, welcome back and welcome to our experience in a bud. So first I'm going to start off with a little villa tour. This villa was probably the most amazing thing I've ever seen in my life. From even the details on the doorway when you walk into this beautiful, beautiful view. I honestly couldn't believe it. I, I really couldn't believe it. And what you get for your money in Bali is insane. Um, but here's the pool looking out into the jungle. We were so high up in the jungle, but it was like the most amazing thing ever um over here you can see the little buddha at the far end there's two little decks on the side one's kind of for lounging the other one's for yoga the villa had also lots of really cute boho decorations that are local so um they really focused on making sure that the locals in the area were making profit from this family having business here with this villa which was really great and here's me just kind of walking out. I'm like, honestly, I wish I could play you the original audio, but I just hear myself back and I'm like, oh my God, because all I keep saying is, oh my God. So I thought I'd do a little voiceover, but this is the villa overall as a whole. This is from the deck angle. And then I'm going to walk over here. This is the yoga deck right here that they have built a little Buddha there. And this was our bedroom. Like, oh my God. It was something out of a fucking magazine. Like, it was insane. And here's the little door back to the main area. And then here is the most amazing bathroom I've ever seen in my life. Um, the greenery. There's a little Buddha in the corner. Just, like, the way the light hit it when you were having a shower during the day. It was just so beautiful. So much detail. And just gorgeous. Honestly gorgeous. And they brought so many touches of Indonesia to the villa like there were tons of paintings and pictures of like indonesian women um working in the farm or just like living out their day-to-day -day life that was the view from the bedroom and we're back circling back there's alex just chilling with the coconuts and yeah this place was amazing because you could get whatever you want at any time you wanted it was so worth the money so not only have we run into our first scorpion, we have now run into our first tarantula. It's, not a tarantula. it's a big ass motherfucker. Like, that thing is bigger than my hand. So, to me, that qualifies as a tarantula. Okay? It's a big ass. Like, I've never seen a spider so big in my life. Um, what happened was, I went to go put my computer down on the bed and then I went to go put oh, you can see him you can see him you can see him oh my god ah, I'm I'm like my body is like shaking it is shaking right now no 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 don't kill it Alex don't kill it Listen, Maddie, I'm not really sure how we gonna get him from there to there <laughs> <laughs> in a live state <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you <laughs> Wait, 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 don't do anything. Don't do anything. Don't do anything. I'm gonna, from a distance, I'm just gonna zoom in and show everyone the situation because that's a motherfucking tarantula, if you ask. <laughs> <laughs> you know, scientifically speaking, maybe not, but size wise, we're in that area, okay? <laughs> that's, that is a no go. That is a no go. Oh, I'm getting out. Nope. Nope. Just lift the stool. Lift the stool up and just lift like. Lift the stool. <laughs> Come in here and lift the fucking stool. Are you on one? Listen, I don't know what to do. You just would stay still. I wish we could do that like Harry Potter thing and just like puff it away. You know? What? You know how they the abracadabra? I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm like, oh my god. Okay, wait. I have an idea. Okay, wait. Can you get a close up of it? Hey guys, so we are currently at Monkey Forest um, in a bird. I'm super excited. The scenery is so beautiful. We're gonna see some monkeys. Oh my god, look at them. Oh. <laughs> it's okay, they're friendly. I know, they're like They're just chilling. We're about to go in there. Honestly guys, this place is so so cool. There are 800 monkeys in total 
um, throughout the forest and they're honestly super chill obviously they're pretty used to humans at this point because there's so many of them around all the time considering this is one of bali's main tourist attractions but it's really cool they're super chill and if you have time in a boat i would definitely check this out because they're so cute and the proceeds go to helping the monkeys so it's great so after monkey forest we headed to the rice terraces and oh my goodness i understand why they're so popular they were so so beautiful all right guys so we are here now at the rice fields in a bud there's many rice fields everywhere you go so it's gonna be a couple videos of this i think wow okay this is like unbelievable So I'm going to show you some more clips that I got on my phone at the rice terraces. They are so unbelievably stunning. Um, I actually did the swing that flies over them and that was really cool. And I'll put my Instagram link right here if you want to go check those photos out because they were so bomb. So we then headed out for lunch and we stopped at this amazing cafe. There are so many cafes in a bud and I kind of wanted to give you guys an idea of what they look like and the food they serve. And it's this and it's fantastic. And then at the end of the day, we went back to our humble abode. And honestly, I do recommend that you kind of splurge a little bit in a bud. Um, it's such a peaceful place. We spent a lot of time in our villa and it just made it so relaxing to be able to have an escape like this. Um, especially if you were coming back from doing things during the day. It was so peaceful and honestly could have lived there. It was so beautiful. So I do recommend balling out a little bit. So after a couple days, we ended up meeting up with our friends and we went out to explore some of these world famous waterfalls we had heard about. And everyone told us um, before coming to Bali that we definitely needed to check these out because they were so friggin amazing. And the drive was stunning. Coming up right here, here's some footage of what the drive was like. It was absolutely beautiful. So after seeing a few waterfalls in this area and a couple small ones, we then went to our next large waterfall, which is called Tibumana Waterfall. I hope I'm saying that right. But this waterfall was stunning. You could swim under it, and it was so much bigger in person than it is on camera. Um, it was probably one of the best experiences I've ever had, and so amazing, so worth the visit. And the next day, we went rafting. It was really fun but definitely not something you need to do while in a bud but we definitely had a really good time and it gets pretty wild it was super fun and after a few more days chilling in a bud we headed out to sidman bali which is where a lot of celebrities go um but there's not much around uh so you don't find as many like average tourists out and about there but we wanted to check it out because we heard it had been really serene and oh my god this was the view from our bed and breakfast and it was absolutely stunning and Sidman is so underrated if you go to Bali I really recommend this place wow hey guys so we are now in Sidman which is more of a rural part of Bali um, Abud was pretty rural as well uh, but this is like even farther out and this is our place and oh my god here I'm gonna go over here have a little pool There's some lounges like oh my god i'm obsessed it's beautiful so this is the view right outside our room we're staying at natural cottage view in sidman over there's the pool and here's our little our little cottage there's definitely going to be spiders in this bitch. Oh, don't even say that to me right now. We have a little bed here. Some... Actually, this woodwork is so nice. Like, it's, like, very traditional. Got some AC, a little vanity. This actually opens up right here. So, can we open this up? 
I don't know how. I can't figure it out. It doesn't seem like it's meant to be open anymore. Maybe from the outside? Maybe, yeah. And we have a little bathroom. And it's super cute. It's like a little stone bathroom. But yeah, it was like super yeah, cheap. Oh, is it? Yeah. But yeah, it was super cheap. And like we needed, <laughs> we wanted it for the view because this is just like unbelievable. So one of the main reasons we wanted to come to Sidman is because we wanted to make our own rings, which is a very popular thing to do while you're in Bali. They last forever and you get to do the whole process yourself. And as you can see here, they're kind of teaching us and then we do it ourselves, which is really cool. And here's some clips. got to make everything for our rings including the design here you'll see me in a second making my design and kind of thinning out my ring and honestly the finished product was beautiful here they are and they last forever and you got to engrave them on the inside of when you were here or honestly whatever you wanted but we chose when we were here and it was a really cool experience so i'm gonna end this vlog off where all the amazement started at this beautiful beautiful villa and give you guys one last look um, kind of while I summarize everything up, but basically, Bali is amazing. Abud is amazing. All of the areas in Bali are amazing. If you haven't seen my other videos, go check them out because they show those areas. But Bali made me feel so amazing. I can't even describe how at home I felt, which is really weird because we've been traveling for five months and I haven't really felt at home anywhere because we've been so on the move. But this place literally felt like home. It was one of the most stunning places I've ever been in my life. And it is so, so worth it. This was our last stop. Unfortunately, after seven weeks, we headed to Vietnam. Or actually Singapore before Vietnam. But it was honestly such a sad goodbye. I've never felt like this leaving a place before in my life. Um, I didn't want to leave. It was so surreal. And I obviously know being from Canada, it's really hard to get there, um, especially if you're from North America. But if you have the opportunity, do it because it was the most amazing experience. Thank you so much for watching again, guys. And there will be more travel vlogs coming very, very soon.